Hey, welcome to Performance Reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today, we are at a friend's house who let us film. We're going to be testing the Zero G's carpet pickup. They need to shampoo their carpet, and I was going to lend them my shampooer. But first, I wanted to clean the carpet really well. As you can see, they have a Dyson handbag and about 2,000 square feet, maybe a little bit more here. Um, and they're using the V8, which is great for quick pickups, but as far as deep down in the carpet, well, we're going to see. I'll uh, roll in some footage here of their carpet and what it looks like. And they also have a black Labrador. And these are our same friends who also uh, babysit our dog. So we'll be curious to see how much animal hair we pick up and just how much deep down in this carpet. And this is like a, a nice medium pile carpet. So first, I'm just going to do one room with their vacuum cleaner and just fill it up, and then we'll do the same room here with the Zero G. I'd say that's full. All right, I vacuumed their whole room and up to the hallway end here with their V8, which certainly got a lot of the dog hair and stuff right there. And you can see it's full, so this needs to be emptied and washed and taken care of. We're gonna put a brand new bag in the Zero G and that's super easy to change. And then this just goes up where the arrows. So let's vacuum the rest of this and see where it goes. All right, we finished with that. Let's see what we got here. All right, I had to scrounge and get something uh, to do this. So let's take a look. Now the bag is not particularly full with animal hair, which is a good sign, but let's see what's in the bag. Um, I should have brought some scissors for this, but I didn't. So we're gonna use a dull pocket knife. So give me a minute. And I would recommend not breathing this, but this is everything that was, that's the big stuff. This is like hair and stuff. This isn't even like the allergens. That's what I'm kind of shaking out of this right now. And you can see really, as I rip this open right here, how much stuff was just stuck in the carpet uh, right here with that. And it, it really is quite a bit. And again, we filled up this Dyson before we started with this machine. So this gives you an idea how it deep cleans. And I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but there is a lot of sand and grit, the stuff that actually destroys carpet and causes a lot of the allergens stuck in there. So um, I think it's safe to say this is why I don't recommend just using a stick vac as your day-to-day -day vacuum. Uh, you know, this is great for quick pickups, but when you want to get deep down in the carpet, you need something like the Zero G and there are other vacuums that are super powerful like this that are portable, but typically a canister vacuum with an electric power head is the way to go. So I hope that's been educational for you in terms of what can be left in your carpet if you just have this. Um, 
please like, subscribe, comment below. Um, if you want to get your own Zero-G, of course, I'll put a link in the description to that. I'll also put a link in the description to performancereviews.com, where I have a variety of other machines I recommend as well. If you'd like to learn more about the Zero-G, I'm going to put a link to that at the end of this video. I'd recommend you check that out. It's a fantastic cleaning machine. I'm also going to put a link to my Kent C4 carpet extractor review video. This is an industrial style extractor. It's really one of the best in the market. It's a lot better than the mid-level machines and it's amazing compared to the home machines. Have yourself a wonderful day.